I rise to ask question 163 of 170, and my question is forwarded to the Honorable Minister for Education, Heritage and Arts. And the question is, can the Minister provide details to this August House on the Misema Open Days uh, organized by the Fiji Museum uh, and it's every month and its importance. Thank you. Thank you. The Minister for Education, Heritage and Arts, you have the floor. Uh, Honourable Madam Speaker, I want to thank the uh, Honourable thank Honourable Kumar for asking this question. Uh, she has asked this question because she understands the importance and value of museums in a contemporary Fiji and contemporary society. Madam Speaker, museums represent a major public social investment by both modern societies. Madam Speaker, um, the influence of society, also not fully recognised, is very powerful. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, from its humble beginning in 1904 where the idea to have a museum to display and preserve traditional Fijian culture was first discussed. The Fiji Museum has formally inaugurated as a government statutory body with a board of trustees under the Fiji Museum Ordinance of 1929. After its opening in 1955, the current museum has served as a storehouse for cultural items and as a center for research and studies. Madam Speaker, located in the heart of Suva's Thurston Gardens, the Fiji Museum holds a remarkable collection which includes archaeological material dating back to 3,700 3, years and cultural objects representing both Fiji's indigenous inhabitants and other communities that have settled in the island group over the past 200 years. Madam Speaker, uh, we, in 2015 we decided that given that we have, that have such a massive investment, Madam Speaker, it's important that we get people to visit museum. And we decided that just because of 50 cents or dollar entry fee, we didn't want to restrict people to come and visit the museum. So we decided that every last Saturday of the month, of the month, the last, last Saturday of the month, we'll have an open day on a particular theme. And for Fiji citizens, it'll be free access. Also, Madam Speaker, <coughs> The, the, uh, the gallery in front, Madam Speaker, we decided that last Saturday of the month, it will be freely available for all those um, ladies and um, artists who would want to come and display their, their talents and uh, artifacts, Madam Speaker. So last Saturday of the month, they will come and display their um, artifacts without having to pay any fee. And anyone, anyone who would want to visit the museum, last Saturday there will be a lot of activities. Every Saturday, we, we ask the uh, Benga fireworkers, we pay them a small fee. They'll come and do the fireworking there as well, Mr. Speaker, on, on the, on the uh, lawn. Uh, and so it's, it's amazing in terms of number of people who are now coming and attending the museum, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, for example, this year, the January, is, so every last Saturday of the month, the open day, there's a theme. There will be a particular theme. Uh, the theme, based on the theme, there'll be items. There'll be items uh, done by uh, various groups. So, for example, January, uh, the theme was uh, celebrating intangible cultural heritage, Chinese New Year at the museum. February uh, this year, the, the uh, theme was heritage unfolds through songs, chants, and music. And music. Uh, March, uh, the theme was safeguarding culture and heritage, women as bearers uh, and keepers. In April, the theme was books, curating the past and present in the museum. Uh, May, uh, International Museum Day, Museums Empowering uh, Communities, Madam Speaker. And uh, two weeks ago, Madam Speaker, on Sunday, we had a special day on Gilmit Celebration and Honorable Acting Prime Minister was the chief guest. Mm -hmm. And we had, uh, and the entire community was mobilized, Madam Speaker. So we had various activities. And that day, too, we said that anyone coming to the museum that day, there would be a free entry to the museum, Madam Speaker. So, Madam Speaker, um, since, since uh, establishing, um, uh, opening this museum for, to the general public uh, um, in, in 2015, uh, we see in, uh, a huge popularity, a uh, lot of people coming and attending the museum, Madam Speaker, uh, visiting the place. In 2015, we had only on the open days, 5,372. 2016, the, the, uh, it was affected because Cyclone Winston went down to 3,091 visitors. 
I'm only talking about the last Saturday numbers, Madam Speaker. In uh, over the last four months, January to April, we had uh, this year we had 2,860 2, uh, visitors uh, coming to the museum, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Vande. Thank you, Madam Speaker. After touring the Fiji Museum, I found that there's uh, they need existing office space uh, to store some artifacts. Can I ask the Minister whether they have that in their plans to expand the Fiji Museum to store most of the artifacts nearly decaying at the back of their storeroom? Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Yes, yes, Madam Speaker, I invite the Honourable Member to visit the museum. If you would see, if you visit the museum, the construction is undergoing and uh, we are looking at additional space to uh, expand the capacity to hold artifacts, Madam Speaker. So, there is renovation being undertaken. Thank you. Thank you. Honourable uh, Munivalu. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Uh, we see that the, the tourists are coming nearly every week and every month. Uh, is there an entry fee for the tourists to go to, uh, to, go to the museum? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Yes, uh, yes, Madam Speaker, tourists are required to pay an entry fee. We also, uh, they are also invited on the open day, but on the open day uh, it's not free to the tourists. Um, uh, but the activities outside, uh, like the bang of fireworking and the dance item, etc., all those are free. But entry on, on the open day, entry, there is an entry fee for tourists. And we do send out brochures uh, of the uh, activity on the open day to the nearby hotels so that they can inform uh, their guests about the activities that will happen on the, on the last Saturday of the month, Madam Speaker. So yes, the short answer, yes, they are required to pay. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, the museum is in uh, Suba. And I, uh, I I'm, I'm proud of the, the work they're doing. Also, Madam Speaker, under the museum are the sacred sites of Fiji. And some, uh, touching on the, the tourism uh, perspective there by my Honorable Univalu, um, are becoming attractions for tourists. But unfortunately, the, the, the sacred sites in, in some, are being desecrated in some degree by the developer. Is there anything within the ministry that can help help the local resource owner, the owner of the sacred site, to to uh, to to to, be, to have redemption from the from the other side for what they've done to the to compensate to, to help the resource owners because it, it, it's a very serious case as more tourists come take over sacred sites and they do whatever they want to do with it, destroying what is valuable to us. The ministry, I believe, has been empowered to do this. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Madam, uh, Madam Speaker, I want to thank the Honourable Member for asking this question. I think there's probably uh, misinformation. If there is a sacred site and the community thinks that they, it should be, it is a sacred site and should be um, uh, listed, they should uh, come to us. Uh, we have got this National Trust of Fiji, Madam Speaker. The National Trust of Fiji looks after all the uh, heritage sites. So it needs to be first listed as a heritage site, and once it's listed in the heritage site, Madam Speaker, then we will look after the National Trust. National Trust will look after that and protect it and uh, and ensure that no one uh, no one comes and in the in the process of visiting the place will uh, uh, damage the site. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, Honourable Mohammed Din. Madam Speaker, supplementary question to the Honourable Minister. Question. Uh, I have uh, heard about a virtual uh, museum, so if Honorable Minister can uh, 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 update uh, more on this information. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Minister. Madam, Madam Speaker, I want to thank the Honorable Member for asking a very important question, Madam Speaker. <laughs> uh, supplementary question about museum. About museum. About museum. About museum. Uh, Madam Speaker, as I alluded to earlier on, it's a massive, it's a massive investment, Madam Speaker, but it's a strategic investment. The, the museum is located at a particular place. People from Undu Point, from Tavuni, my, my honourable member there, they may not be able to come to the museum, Madam Speaker. And therefore, what we did last year was we.
develop. We uh, uh, gave it to an, some experts to develop a virtual museum project, which was launched uh, last, uh, last year, uh, 22nd April, at Nathan City High School, uh, where students, children, people, tourists can go, log on to that particular site, and uh, view the artifacts in the museum, Madam Speaker, with voiceover. Actual, very high quality, uh, high quality um, imaging with voiceovers, Madam Speaker, and write-ups as well, explaining what this artifact is, the history of that artifact, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, there are 854 items on virtual, virtual museum, Madam Speaker. The information focuses on key areas of our country's past, such as the ancient past, history of West Fijians, session, and the nature system and independence, Madam Speaker. Out of this, Madam Speaker, out of the 854 items, 609 artifacts were professionally photographed <coughs> in 23 photography sessions, while the other 246 images were scanned and provided by the Fiji Museum. Madam Speaker, over 1,300 individual photographs are on display with over 35,000 words of description, researched and written and incorporated into the virtual museum to provide an enhanced educational experience for the visitors, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, we have got a major, um, uh, the, all the categories of the, the museum, for example, we have the Massey category, the uh, Grimmett section, the maritime history, uh, <coughs> all of them are covered in the virtual museum, Madam Speaker, and uh, we, have, we, have, we found that a lot of people are logging on with the login data to uh, view the artifacts that are there in the museum, Madam Speaker. So, Madam Speaker, it is an amazing development in terms of ensuring that our children in the interior maritime division, deep interior rural areas, who are not able to come to the museum, can at least log on to, if they have access to internet, and view these artifacts, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.